On your block in Macomb County, where a local organization is calling on cities across the state to reconsider some laws that may prevent them from helping those suffering from substance use disorder. CBS News Detroit's Gina Beachy joins us from Clinton Township with why it could cost these cities millions of dollars from a massive opioid settlement. I spoke to an organization called Face Addiction Now, formerly known as Families Against Narcotics. They tell me in some cities, the laws are outdated, they're ineffective, and they prevent them from getting people the help they need. Absolutely, it's an issue. Paraphernalia laws um, really prohibit um, a lot of harm reduction devices like clean syringes. Harm reduction devices aren't available to people that are using drugs. Linda Davis is a former Macomb County judge and executive director of Face Addiction Now, formerly known as Families Against Narcotics. She says her organization of volunteers can sometimes have a difficult time passing out these harm reduction packets filled with clean syringes and drug testing kits, depending on the city they're in. Every community has a different law. Without singling out any particular city, Davis says there are enough out there that need to make slight changes to their local ordinances. There are state laws that say that if you are participating in a government endorsed SSP, safe syringe um, program, that those people should not be arrested, but that's in conflict with a lot of local ordinances, so they can still be arrested on that. Davis wants to be clear harm reduction policies are not promoting drug use, and they also address other potential health risks that go along with it. Making sure that they have clean use supplies really prevents um, a crisis with hepatitis, HIV, and even simple things like officers being stuck by dirty needles. There's also the issue of safe disposal. Davis says there needs to be a safe option for that. The reason they dispose of them is because in many communities, it's illegal to just have syringes on you. And so we create a situation where we're creating harm to the public. Moving forward, Face Addiction Now, or FAN, is hoping local governments rethink outdated policies. We're not telling them to do away with paraphernalia laws. We're just asking them to make an exception for people that are working with a bona fide SSP uh, to make sure that they are getting safe use supplies. In Clinton Township, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.